Hi, Josh here, and you're watching Tips from a Noob, because why get tips from a pro? In this video, I'll be showing you how to turn threads on an old handy lathe. Threading on a handy lathe, or from what I hear, most other high-end metal cutting lathes, is a bit different from your standard metal lathe. On a standard lathe, after setting up your lead screw transmission, you would watch a threading dial. When this dial comes up on a memorable mark, you would engage your half nuts. At the end of your thread, you would disengage the half nuts, back up your tool, position the carriage before the work, and reposition your tool. Then you would wait for that mark to come up on your thread dial, engage your half nuts, and repeat. On my handy, you first engage the lead screw lever. Set your lead screw transmission box according to the chart that is normally attached to your lathe. Hey, don't judge. I'm not done putting the finishing touches on my lathe. Then I engage the half nut, moving the carriage back and forth until the lead screw and half nut mesh. When I'm ready to cut, I engage the lead screw by pushing this lever down. This causes the carriage to move forward. When I'm ready to stop and go back, I pull the lever up once. This stops the lead screw, allowing me to pull the cross slide back. Then I pull the lever up one more click. This reverses the lead screw, moving the carriage in reverse. And then I repeat. As you can see, this uses a lot less thought than using a thread dial, but it can be even simpler. My lathe has this interesting feature. Set this shaft collar up and the carriage will push it forward until it trips a mechanism that stops the lead screw. This is great for boring, but I generally don't use this for threading. It takes a little too long to get it set up in the right position. The stops at the bottom of the apron are supposed to be adjustable, but they're really hard to move. I find it faster just to stop and start the carriage manually. But how does the lead screw start, stop, and reverse work? Well, I have some footage that I made when I was painting my lathe that shows the mechanism that controls this. Keep in mind that this was before this channel and well before I had a good camera. I was you to engage the line feed. I'll spare you my original voiceover. This mechanism sits directly under the lathe's head. There is a drive bevel gear under the head that drives these two bevel gears. Because the two bevel gears are on opposite sides of the drive bevel gear, they spin in opposite directions. These two bevel gears free spin until the selector slides to one of the gears. When this happens, a key, for lack of a better word, on the bevel gear will spin until it catches the key on the selector. When these two keys catch, the gear and the selector start spinning in unison which starts to spin the gearbox and the lead screw. Because the key will only catch in the one spot, the lead screw will always be in sync with the chuck, and therefore the chuck will always be in sync with the carriage. Unless of course you disengage the half nuts. Not that I have any direct knowledge of that. I am obviously totally ignoring setting up the compound slide and the tool. I'll do that in another video, so subscribe so you don't miss it. I would also like to thank Carrie for the idea of this video. If you have any ideas or questions that you think I could answer, let me know down below. I'm relying on friction because it has a hard edge to push against. I made this clamp the exact same way as the tie rod end clamps, but if you haven't seen that video, here's how I made it. I first turned the rod down to three and a half inches. 